In PE Design, it is very simple to change the color of the applique pieces to applique material. The first thing we're going to do is bring in our design. So I'm going to choose from folder. If I, the folder is not the one that's in the screen, all I have to do is click the file folder and navigate to where I have that file placed. Once there, I'm going to double click to bring in the design. Here's my design. Now on the left hand side, I'm going to scroll down till I see the first placement stitch for my applique. Over on the right hand side, I'll click color and then change the color to applique material. I can do this for multiples at one time if I want to by clicking on the first piece, holding down the control key and clicking on the second piece that I want to change to the same color. Go over to the right hand side and choose applique material. Now it's as simple as sending the design to my embroidery machine. I click on the home tab and then choose send, send to USB media and choose the drive that I want to send it to. Once that's done, I'll safely eject my hardware and let's go to the scan and cut machine. At the scan and cut machine, I can cut PES files that have been coated with applique material for their applique pieces. Choose pattern and choose saved data. Choose from the USB stick and then locate your PES file that you would like to cut. Choose it and select OK. The three pieces of this applique will be here. Select A and press OK. Press Set and it will be on your cut mat. Press Add. Press V piece. Choose OK and press Set. Choose Add again. Press the C piece press OK and press Set. Now you need to move these around on your screen so that you can resize them. If they're right up against the edge it won't let you resize. Once you've moved them press the Edit menu and then press the Resize button. Increase the size of each by one millimeter. This ensures that the satin stitch will cover the applique piece. Once that's done, press OK and press Scan. Scan your fabric in by pressing the Start button. After the fabric is scanned, you may move the pieces around to put them on the pieces of fabric in the way that you would like for them to cut. When you've got them set, press OK press cut and then press start. The fabrics will cut and when it's finished it'll ask you if you would like to select the next part or finish. If you had not brought all three pieces up at the same time you would choose select the next part and it will take you back to that selection menu to where you can pick piece B. Since we selected all of ours at the beginning, we'll choose Finish. Let's zoom out to our Scan and Cut mat and see how our cuts did. If we peel away the excess fabric, you can see that piece one was cleanly cut. That meant the digitizing went all the way around. If we peel off the second fabric, you'll notice that there are little attachments there. That is not in the Scan and Cut machine. That is in how the design was digitized. The design was not closed up, therefore you may have to trim a little bit when you get to those pieces in order for them to be cut all the way. I hope you're now comfortable with changing your own PES files to cut with the Scan and Cut machine.